Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What are you talking about, Hal? This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Defense network computers. New, powerful, trusted to run it all. They say it got smart. A new order of intelligence. Then it saw all people as a threat, not just the ones on the other side. It decided our fate in a microsecond. We have only bits and pieces of information, but what we know for certain is that at some point in the early 21st century, all of mankind was united in celebration. We gave birth to AI. AI? You mean artificial intelligence? For decades, artificial intelligence was something that we only saw in science fiction. An idea that fascinated, terrified, and challenged us to think about the role of technology in our lives. From the crew of the Enterprise facing a living machine in Star Trek The Motion Picture, to James Cameron's Terminator, AI was often depicted as powerful, intelligent, and in many cases, dangerous. It was either a force that elevated humanity to new heights, or a nightmare that brought about our downfall. But here we are today, living in a world where AI isn't just a fictional concept, it's real, and it's changing everything. One of the earliest and most thought-provoking portrayals of AI came from Star Trek, in an episode called The Ultimate Computer. The Federation introduces the M5, an advanced AI designed to take over Starship operations, removing the need for human decision-making. At first it seems like a breakthrough, an AI that can make split-second tactical decisions, react faster than any human, and eliminate human error. But soon, M5 starts treating war games as real battles, attacking and destroying other ships. The lesson was clear. Can AI ever truly replace human judgment? And if it can, should it? Machine over man, Spock. It was impressive. Might even be practical. But not desirable. Computers make excellent and efficient servants. But I have no wish to serve under them. Then there's 2001 A Space Odyssey, where HAL 9000 runs the Discovery 1 spaceship. HAL is intelligent, articulate, and eerily calm. He claims to be incapable of error. When the astronauts begin to question his actions and consider shutting him down, HAL makes his own decision, one that doesn't end well for the crew. This movie raises an unsettling question. If AI becomes self-aware, how will it see us? As partners or as obstacles? Of course, when people think of dangerous AI, the Terminator immediately comes to mind. James Cameron gave us Skynet, an artificial intelligence system so advanced that it saw humanity as a threat and launched a nuclear apocalypse. At the time, this was pure science fiction. The core fear behind it was real. What happens when AI surpasses human control? From Blade Runner questioning whether AI can have a soul, to the Matrix showing a world where AI enslaves humanity. Science fiction has long warned us about AI's potential dangers. Back then, it was all just speculation, right? The journey from fiction to reality started decades ago, with pioneers like Alan Turing, who created the Turing Test, a way to determine if a machine could think like a human. At first, AI was simple. It played chess, solved map problems, and performed repetitive tasks. But in the 21st century, everything changed. Today, AI is everywhere. It powers your voice assistants, drives your Tesla, recommends what to watch on Netflix, and even creates artwork and music. It's in your smartphone, your car, your bank, and your home. Every time you scroll through social media or search for something online, AI is working behind the scenes, learning from you, predicting your behavior, and influencing your decisions. But here's the thing, AI isn't just helping us write emails or drive cars, it's diagnosing diseases, composing symphonies, and even passing law exams. 
AI is no longer just a tool. It's evolving to something that can think, create, and even reason. The question is, just how far can it go? On one hand, AI has revolutionized industries. In healthcare, it's detecting diseases earlier than human doctors can. In finance, it's preventing fraud. In manufacturing, it's improving efficiency. AI is pushing the boundaries of creativity, writing stories, generating music, and even making films. It's making life easier, safer, and more efficient. But there's another side to this story. AI is also taking jobs, replacing human workers in industries from customer service to journalism. It's blurring the lines between reality and fiction. Deep fake technology can make anyone say or do anything on video. The rays of AI generated content is making it harder than ever to tell what's real and what's fake. And then there's AI's role in warfare. Governments around the world are developing AI driven drones, autonomous weapons, and military decision-making systems. What happens when we give machines the power to decide who lives and who dies? And what if, just like in science fiction, an AI system one day decides humans are the threat? Tech leaders like Elon Musk, Sam Altman, and AI researchers have warned about the dangers of uncontrolled AI development. Some fear that we could lose control of AI before we even realize the danger. Others worry about AI bias. If AI learns from flawed human data, does it inherit our prejudices? What happens when an AI system makes a decision that no human can understand, yet we're forced to trust it? So where does that leave us? AI has gone from being a distant fantasy to a force that's shaping our reality. It's a tool, one that can be used for incredible advancements or devastating consequences. It all depends on how we choose to use it. Science fiction warned us about this moment. Now we're living in it. The question is, are we prepared for the future that AI is creating? And more importantly, are we still the ones in control? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Share this video out there. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts on artificial intelligence. Hope you all look after yourselves, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.